Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd make a video on installing some new grips for my 2016 Indian Scout 60. Let's get to that video. Today I'll be installing some memory foam grips by Avon. I'm hoping this will help with some of the vibration uh, on my hands uh, to make the little ride a little more pleasant as well. Uh, check out the link in the description for the part number and availability. All right, the first side we're going to start with is going to be the uh, clutch side. Uh, this grip here is stationary. It's going to have some glue that's going to be holding it on. Um, so what we're going to do is just grab it here and, and twist until we can break that glue loose. And then it'll just kind of slide right off like so, like that. And uh, once it's off, um, we're going to take some uh, stuff and clean off this old glue and uh, get all that cleaned up real nice before we put the new one on. Okay, to remove this old glue, I'm going to be using a uh, uh, Goo Gone to try to get off uh, some of that uh, old glue on this handlebar. So I already put some on this uh, towel right here, this rag. So I'll go ahead and wipe some of that off. Try to get it on there and This handlebar is not really that bad, uh, considering I've uh, seen where other people have removed these and had a lot more trouble. So I got off kind of easy. So go ahead and get some uh, soapy water here. All right, I'm gonna take an old razor blade uh, and try to peel off some of this old uh, rubber that's stuck to the uh, to the bar. The nice thing about these Avon grips, from uh, what I read, is is that we don't need to worry about gluing those back on. They actually have a set screw on them uh, that we'll be using to attach the handlebar, so that'll make it a lot nicer. This is just a tedious process, so, you know, just work on uh, scraping it off of there. Five minutes later. Okay, we got the uh, clutch handlebar all cleaned up, so uh, let's go ahead and install the new grip. Alright, let's go ahead and install this uh, new grip on here. Memory foam grip from uh, Avon. Uh, comes with uh, three set screws here on the end. You go ahead and push this uh, up on the handlebar and then just tighten down these three set screws. Uh, I believe that's uh, they're uh, a two millimeter uh, Allen wrench should work. So you just want to tighten this down, get it set, tighten all three uh, set screws down, and that should hold it in place. And there we go. Got the clutch side done. Now let's go ahead and work on the uh, the throttle side. Okay, the throttle side is uh, pretty simple to do. Uh, there are four uh, T25 Torx screws uh, here, two at the top here and two at the bottom. They just need to be removed, and then you can kind of split this little plastic housing apart, and uh, that should allow us to get the uh, the throttle uh, grip off. this housing apart very gently like so all right 
this should just come right off but we have to make sure that's blocking that there we go this pulls off just like that so let's go ahead and get the other one all right here's the other grip uh, for the uh, throttle side the memory foam grip by Avon um, one thing I will say is that uh, these actually these um, the set screws here the three here uh, they basically say they're for looks um, so you don't necessarily need to tighten those down uh, because we'll be uh, putting this housing back on and that'll hold it in place so let's go ahead and do that Got to make sure our throttle is in the right position. There we go. And just go ahead and put the housing back in. Let's go ahead and get our uh, T25 torque screws. Go ahead and get them started. Down to the last one. You don't want to make them too tight. Don't want to crack that plastic. There we go, folks. Uh, two uh, memory foam grips uh, by Avon for my 2016 Indian Scout 60. Uh, pretty simple process to install. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate it uh, and have a good day.